my wife had a dream, and I want her to share this dream. Hit it, baby. Yeah, so I had a dream about Tiger King, and I do not know his real name. Uh, but years ago, I watched his documentary on Netflix. And as I began to watch it, I noticed that the whole world watched it. And uh, that was years ago. Like maybe two days ago, I had a dream about him. He was in my dream and I began to see his face. And as I was seeing just his face, um, I was, you know how the Lord can talk to you through the dream about a specific person. That's how this dream was. And the dream was showing me that, you know, he's troubled, um, that he is not as bad as what we all think. Um, he is some things about him that need to change. He needs to change, but he's not as bad as the female that I seen in my dream. And I seen a woman, she had long hair and she was a, you know, a plus size woman. She had a dress on and she was just like tormenting him in a way, just tormenting him. Not like as in she touched him or anything like that. But when this lady represented to me that she was picking on him some, in some type of way, you know, just mean woman. And by the, by the dream, I was perceiving that she was a lot worse than he was. That's the way the dream ended. And in the dream, y'all, I didn't know who this woman was. But when I woke up, I realized, wow, she reminded me of Carol Baskin or Baskin. And she was also a part of the documentary. I was shocked. But let's see what my husband got to say, because my husband don't know who none of these people are. He haven't watched the show. So let's see what he say. Okay, number one, God is just... Uh giving everyone hey this is exactly this person uh, who this person is you know is not as evil or bad horrible that they present this guy you know but at the same time god was speaking as my wife was sharing this dream that he neglected the word of god he neglected the word of god the spirit that my wife saw concerning that woman that was really bringing forth accusation and all that, that's the spirit that he already contracted. He contracted the spirit and the spirit was able to stand strongly against him in laying a lot of accusation and lies, you know, conjuring up a lot of things against him because he he knows the word of God. He neglected the word of God. He's like somebody who uh, cast out the things of God or the word of God, turned his back on God, knowing that he has a calling of God in his life. And, you know, basically God is just showing, hey, it's still not too late for him to come back to God. It's still not too late for him to repent because God with his infinite mercy is going to make it way out of nowhere for him. There is nothing impossible with God. But at this point, when people like this will turn their back on God, neglected and turn the word of God upside down, you know, then they choose to do the things that they want to do or live the, the life that they want to live, God will allow the enemy who they're really trying to trick to really turn against them. And this is exactly what happened to this man. In a lot of things, he's very innocent. But in, in some, he is uh, guilty. But not us. The media, every, everyone is trying to uh, uh, present him. Wow. And God still love him. If he will turn back to God, God will genuinely show mercy upon his life. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is amazing. I want y'all to know, just, um, just in case you have not watched us before, you know, me and my husband are dreamers. Uh, vi we have visions. We prophesy. And uh, 
my husband is a dream interpreter and uh, he's not getting this from his flesh. The Lord is helping him with these dream interpretations, the dream meanings. And I love it. Um, I really enjoy it. And uh, I pray that his friends will see this video and that they will share it to him or he can see it himself. Share it to him if y'all can. Um, you know, since the Lord reminded me about him, I'll keep him up in prayer and I pray yeah. that he heed to the warning of God. Yeah, it's it, not too late. It's not. Mm -hmm. and not. It's not. And I love when God is showing something like this. You know, sometimes it's just the mercy of God. Yeah. And uh, in comment section, I saw somebody who was asking, how will you know if a dream is from God? Or uh, if it's your flesh? Or if it's from Satan? You know, that's when, when you begin to really grow in the presence of God. You know, it would be so easy for you to dictate when the enemy is coming through a dream and also when God is trying to speak to you through a dream you know you have you have to grow a great relationship with God like if you're doing dreams interpretations it helps a lot if you really walk in, uh, in the line of God mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit of God will constantly help you when somebody share the dream to you the Holy Spirit is going to help you instantly to let you know that this is a just a dream or this is a dream from Satan or a dream from God. Or maybe he, he or she was having this discussion with somebody and this dream can come as well like that. You know, sometimes you might have a conversation with somebody and God will use that moment to bring a dream for clarification at the same time. So it takes dedication for somebody to realize where this dream is coming from is he a deceiving spirit is he a, you know there's a dream that that want to break up your relationship or your marriage you have to you know that's why it's good to stay in a good relationship with god because yeah. when you are in a good relationship with god it will be your friend so when something is coming up he will just let you know that this is from him or this is not from him you know, doing dreams interpretations cost more in fasting and praying. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not, yes, a lot of people have it as a gift. There are some people that are really pray their way out to get it, you know. So God will always speak and help you out. If you have it as a gift or if you are praying your way out, God will always stand there, be there for you. Wow. To help you out. Wow. So I have to get more detailed in this dream um, because I know that when people watch this, they're going to think of Carol Baskin as the female. Yeah. So if anybody, if you want to write in the conversation, what is your thoughts? Like, do you know Tiger King? Do you know about Carol Baskin? Uh, do you know about this show? And did you think in the dream that that was her? So we all hear right now, as my husband's doing the interpretation, that that lady figure is a spirit yes, that is attacking spirit. him, not Carol Baskin, because I know a lot of people is going to perceive that. Yeah. And like I almost did, you know what I'm saying? I was perceiving it as well, but I knew in a dream it, it really didn't look like her. I didn't know who she was, but it's amazing how our flesh can think something, yeah. but the Lord has given us something else. Wow. Yeah. Hallelujah. Well, thank you so much for watching. We love you guys. Bye. Bye, y'all.